Hello, Bees Bladers. I have another knife to let out of the package for you today. And welcome newcomers to the channel. If you like new knife content a couple times a week, then you have found another one to add to your list. Please follow me on Instagram at Bees Blades. And you can email me, beesblades at gmail.com. It's always fun to open a package. Open a CRKT with another CRKT. All right. And I love getting new knives out. It's just the most awesome thing ever. So any support for the channel is greatly appreciated, and you can do that by joining me on Patreon. Links to everything are always in the description, along with coupon code or two. If you'd like to donate a knife to the channel or send one for review, the address is also in the description. So my wife and I were checking this knife out at a blade show, and then I got distracted and was like, squirrel! And went and looked at something else, and then we came back and looked at it again. And while I was looking at it, it was another squirrel! And then Stasa walked up, and I started talking to him and completely forgot I was going to get this knife. So when we got home, well, on the way home, she said, hey, you didn't get the green one. I was like, oh, man. So here it is. Let's go ahead. Uh, there's, there's your box, CRKT. And I'm going a little fast. It's the tuna. Not the wanna, but the tuna. <laughs> there's a little insert. Not a whole lot to that. Let's get into this. Check this bad boy out. So... Let me take a moment to take a picture for me. There we go. So the trouble with trying to find a good budget knife to add to your collection is there are so freaking many of them. And, you know, around the same price range. But I'll give you guys a good up-close look here if you want to take a screenshot. We'll go over each side of it for you. There's that side. And here's the back side. And planes going over. Doubt you guys can hear it. And there's this side. Let me turn it over for you. It's a good time for screenshot if you want one. Now you can get this knife at a bunch of different online retailers. I, of course, always put the links in the description. And my question to you guys and put in the comments, what price point are you looking at right now? You know, I move all around with mine. So give me some input on what price point you're looking at for knives. So there's your close-ups a little bit. We'll do some super close-ups here, as you guys well know. See what the blade looks like. All right. So here is the blade. And this is a uh, Lucas Burnley design. There's this side. Give you a good look at that. Now I'll put detailed specs in the description for you fellow knife nerds out there and I'll put my own measurements on the screen or in the description so you know what they are because different sellers have different specs for the same knife. So we'll run through the specs, fit, finish, ergos, and first impressions of this puppy. First off, we'll just quickly uh, check out the weight, see how much this bad boy weighs. For you guys that that makes a big difference too, so it weighs less than 4 ounces, 3.85, it's not too shabby. So your overall length, before we get into the nitty gritty, you're 7.625 inches long, your blade length is three and a quarter, and your blade width is 1.25 inches, and your blade thickness is 0.15. Your blade material is 8CR13 MOV, and this is a drop point with a flat grind. And you get a nice black stone washed finish. I kind of like that. The handle length is four and a half inches. From a tip to tip, your handle width is 1.25 inches and the thickness is just 0.425. So it's less than a half inch thick. That's not too bad. Um, let's get a look here. Compared to my opening knife, the Pilar 3. So they look very similar. They're almost identical. Pretty darn close, right? Um, you got uh, green G10 handles here. The lock is made of two CR13 MOV. This is a, oh, this is only a right hand carry. But, you know, no lefty love there. And this is a manual, manual open. It's not assisted. And the thumb stud is how you open it, of course. And you've got a frame lock. 
which is a pretty nice frame lock. And if you guys want to take a screenshot, there's that. And this was made in China. So let's look at the fit and finish. So as far as the, make sure you guys can see what I'm seeing. It's a pretty uh, consistent finish on the blade. Let's look at both sides of it here. The, yeah, the finish looks pretty nice. And then it's uh, uniform all along. So it looks like I got a good example of what, the, what they're looking for. And here's your G10. Got something on it there. But there's a good close up. It has a pretty nice check texture. It's not rough by any means, but it's just enough to grab your uh, fingerprints to give you a little bit of traction. And then this uh, pivot collar is really nice. It matches the uh, backspacer, which is pretty cool. And the finish of the backspacer is really nice. Now I'm not sure how this is going to last or on you know for wear and tear, but overall the finish of it looks really nice. So there's your there's that. Now as far as the fit, it deploys so deployment's a little stiff. But then again, this is brand new, fresh out of the box. Let me back out just a little bit. This is brand new out of the box, so you know it's going to take a little bit of breaking in, just like any knife. Um, let's look at the lock bar here. What kind of lockup we looking at? So the lock lockups about look uh, look about fifty percent. Yeah, I'd say about fifty percent. So that's pretty good. Um, go, got a lanyard hole? Yes, you have a lanyard hole right here in the end, and then your pocket clip is a pretty deep carry, but. Uh, you're you're gonna have a little bit of real estate sticking out of your pocket. I will put a picture right up here for you to see what that looks like. And what kind of hardware are we looking at? I'd say pretty much this is gonna be the standard um, T8 and T6, which is, seems like every knife has these days. What in the world is going on? There we go. There's your T6 and your T8. Yep, T8 and T6. So there's your hardware. Um, now let's do some size comparisons. I know you guys want to see some uh, some of that. Check some ergos and uh, get moving light right along for you. So I'll show you some knives that you may have that'll give you an idea of uh, whether this is something that's in your size range or give you an idea what it looks like. So here's the Pilar 3. And one of the ones that I always show. And of course I always put these uh, on the screen to give you an idea. And moving right along, here's the Spyderco Manix 2. That's the Tenacious up here. So um, it has a pretty good, pretty good size blade. Um, let's see what it's like compared to the Para 3. So you can see um, coming in, yeah, it, it is definitely longer than a three inch blade. Um, moving right along, just throwing some up here for you to get an idea. Because you might have one of these knives and you'll say, hey, okay, I see what you're talking about. See what we're working it with. See what you're stepping in. And here's one that a lot of folks really like is the Brazen. That was in my last giveaway. And uh, the winner sent me a picture when they got the giveaway package. That was exciting. Thank you for that. Here's the Kershaw Highball XL. If you have that, give you an idea. And here's another one. There's the Civivi Imperium, which I dropped. You know, what's new? Done it to a couple knives recently. If you're still watching and you enjoy knife content at least twice a week, please give this video a thumbs up. Smash the subscribe button and crush the bell button to let you get let you get notified of new postings. You know, liking the video lets YouTube know that other knife lovers may want to watch or may want to check this knife out. I only asked once per video, so thank you. Oh, thank you very much. So let's check the action here in the deployment back out for you. So as far as the deployment goes, it's a little stiff, like I said. Now one, I was trying to do that double thumbed, but with one thumb, it's pretty easy, not too shabby. I mean, it's got a nice, you know, you don't need any rest to it. It comes out strong. Let's see what our, what are we looking here? So we've got a nice, nice lockup. And here's your detent. Doesn't have a very strong stop on the detent. You're, uh, you're not gonna fling it out, but 
Your blade centering looks pretty good. Um, you're not going to get any drop shuttiness. It's not going anywhere. I mean, you can, but right now it's not going to. Of course, you know, this is a uh, frame lock. And I noticed it does have, inside here, if you can see, it does have a stop right in there. It has a stop. See, see that screw? So you don't go overboard when you unlock the knife. You don't want to mess with your frame lock. Your uh, pocket clip does not touch. You know, sometimes it looks like it touches the, the uh, frame lock. It does not touch. And inside your pocket clip here, pretty level. You don't have any screws sticking out, so you got some nice inset screws. And as far as your liners, uh, there's no liner on this side. It's just G10, and then you've got your frame on this side. So that's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I, I wear a large size glove. And this fits comfortable in the hand. It fits pretty comfortably. I'm not feeling any hot spots. Um, I'm not feeling the pocket clip at all in my hand, which is a really good thing. Um, no, no aggressive spots. Um, as always, anytime I ever get a knife with G10, the inside, inside here, the inside of the liner, I usually, almost every single time, can feel this ridge. Let me zoom in for you here. I can usually feel it's kind of it's kind of uh, sharp I don't know why they can't just chamfer it on the inside like they do out here see how this is got a bevel on it now why can't they do that on the inside there must be a reason because no one does it unless that would just cost extra to the company which you know if that's the case then well that makes sense but overall I haven't felt anything sharp uh, you got a, you got a nice swedge up here everything is rounded off not getting any anything to report bad so far so overall my first impressions are it's a pretty neat looking knife um, it's got a slender profile um, I imagine this probably fits in the pocket pretty well um, but there's the CRKT tuna please uh, comment with your thoughts on this knife let me know what you think and have a relaxed rest of your day and remember don't cut yourself